The conditions that uh, trainers would be very useful are where women have sexual functioning difficulties or issues. Now those might be vaginismus, which is the involuntary muscle spasm, uh, which can make penetration uh, almost impossible. So very often they may be non-consummated marriages for that reason. Uh, there could be issues to do with pain or referred pain. So a woman has a memory of pain and therefore uh, she perceives that uh, sexual intercourse is going to be painful for her. Or the type of woman who has vulvodynia, which is a non-specific pain which is around the vulval region and is triggered sometimes by touch response and this doesn't actually show up as an inflamed or swollen area uh, but nevertheless is a very painful condition uh, for some women and they can be helped by the use of trainers. Sometimes I see women who um, are in the menopause or just through it and the menopause through the loss of oestrogen can cause some problems in the vaginal area. So that could be dryness in particular or loss of elasticity of the vagina. So th these women um, may have, the walls may get thinner. So with the use of trainers, uh, they can regain some of that suppleness. There is a difference between uh, dilators and trainers. Uh, dilators, by their word, means to stretch. Uh, but as a sex therapist, I'm looking at retraining and giving new muscle memories to these women. So um, they've actually got to learn a new way of um, receiving um, something to the vagina and therefore uh, overcoming um, their muscle responses, really. So that's why I like to call them trainers instead. Pelvic floor muscles are really important and I think before any woman uh, starts to use any form of trainer she needs to know how to do those exercises properly and that she's confident and comfortable using them first because that will be a very important part uh, when she is shown how to use the trainer uh, in, as part of a program uh, to help her muscles relax so that uh, the vagina can open and she doesn't experience pain. Pelvic floor exercises. Now these are very important actually because over a third of women when they start to use them end up using the wrong sets of muscles. Now there are a sort of crisscross of muscles in uh, the perineum and in front and behind the vagina uh, that are used to hold everything in. So especially if uh, you're having a baby, that's what stops everything all sort of falling out. So that, they're a very important set of muscles. Now, how do you identify which ones to tighten and which ones to relax? Well, when you feel you want to pass urine, the thing to do is to go and sit on the toilet. And when you start the flow of urine, you are relaxing those muscles. When you stop the flow of urine, you are tightening those muscles. A woman doesn't necessarily need to see a sex therapist in order to use trainers um, effectively. Uh, she and her partner could learn to use them together or she could do it herself. Uh, and it's a, a series of steps, a progressive steps. And I think this type of training uh, video will be very helpful for her. When a woman wants to start using uh, trainers, it's important that she realises that she has the control uh, for what is actually going to be a programme that she's going to go through. So she works out the steps she's going to do, when she's going to do them and how she's going to do them. So she sets the pace. She then learns how to do her pelvic floor exercises because what she's actually going to learn to do is to override a reflex reaction of her body. So the anxiety that she feels will then put in this reflex action. So the, le the less anxiety she feels, the more she'll be able to relax and then she can progress through the program. So it's important that the woman learns uh, to relax herself, that she's in a situation where she's undisturbed, she's not hurried and she's nice and warm and comfortable. That's really important. So when she starts to use the trainer, she uses the very smallest one first. When a woman uh, starts to use a trainer, it's important that she uses plenty of lubricant. And the lubricant that she uses 
um, I like to suggest is, is thicker rather than a thinner water-based one, so um, an, a very aqueous one. So what she does is she takes the lubricant and she puts it all over the outside of the uh, trainer. The first train that she's chosen is the smallest one. She then, uh, I'm going to be using my hand to symbolize a vagina, she just puts lots and lots of lubricant on the outside of the vagina and just a little bit at the entrance, just like that. So there's plenty of lubricant. Now the idea is to take a deep breath in and then let the pelvic floor relax and offer the trainer up to the vagina. And if you're nice and relaxed, the, the trainer should slip just easily in. And then hold it there, take a deep breath and let the pelvic floor relax again. Through a progression of steps, the woman can then go from that small size through to the next size and on through progressive steps to the larger and eventually the penis sized uh, trainers. It's important when you uh, want to progress to the next size up that if you're comfortable with this size that in the same session you progress to the next size up. The vagina is already uh, relaxed and accepting of the first size and it may well be more than ready to progress to the next size.